What Pearl Jam tutorial of mine would be complete without a campfire follow-up whenever possible? So I thought today we would do present tense campfire. I think I've come up with some pretty good stuff I'm excited to show you. But first, I must extend my most heartfelt gratitude towards John Holligan, Pierre Imusi, how did I do, and Blaine Higginbotham for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. Gentlemen, friends, thank you. And if you'd like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, will be in the description. Give me a D. Then, pluck your G string just how it is, and your D string just how it is. It's the right notes in a lower octave. How convenient. Give it your strummies. Your middle finger is going to migrate to the A string third fret. Let's pluck your same G, D, just how they are. Now your middle finger and your pointer finger are going to switch, so pointer finger gets A2, middle finger gets G2, pluck your same G, D strings, then there's a bunch of ways you can handle this, here's how I chose because it sounds just artsy and fanciful enough for me for this song, uh, it's an A7 suspended 4, your pointer finger is going on D2, your ring finger is going on B3, and your pinky finger is going on baby E3. The open G string, of course, makes it an A7, but this is also a G note on the E string 3rd fret, so it's an A7 with two 7s in it. And the suspended 4 part is that D note on the B string 3rd fret. Give that a strum. Then your middle finger is going to take over on the baby E string 2nd fret. Pinky finger gets lost. And then just a regular A chord, in my opinion, there. So all of that together is going to sound like this. if you like. And the other thing you can do, because when we did that nerd out note for note for note for note thing on that la on the third shape, when you have A2, G2, B3, you can go and pluck G, B string for that higher note there, if you like. But that's the intro. Depending on how many you've had at the campfire in question, and you want to make it a little simpler while you're singing, you can just play regular old D. Do you see that C at 9, G with a B in the bass, right? It's G with both of these guys, except no low G note. Your A string 2nd fret, the B note, is the lowest note in the chord. And since we're here now, we're almost at A7 suspended 4, think Wonderwall, right? Your pointer finger is just going to the D string 2nd fret. I'm going to keep doing this. C add 9 is just the A string 3rd fret and the B string 3rd fret if you like, and then pointer finger, you could even just play A instead of that whole madness. But I like, do you see the way that tree bends? Does it inspire? I like that. Pick any combination of those combinations of things that you like, and you do you. And of course, the chorus starts with a D. And you want to hear that low D note, but it's a campfire version. We're not tuning our guitar to drop D, but you can. You can make your own choice to do so, and then do the chorus just like we did in the real version. Uh, but I'm not going to do that here, but you can. But I'm not going to. Okay, D. And alternate G, F with G, D. on the F. If you smash your pinky down there, you can kind of get those signature notes that you get there. Come to terms and realize you're the only one. And it ends with a G and D and you're back into the verse. And so on and so forth. But of course, the last chorus doesn't end on a G, D going back into the next verse. It ends on a G, G. So you'll be all... So you'll be all... In the present tense. And then this is where the song kind of starts to become the regular song. I wouldn't obviously do this jam all by myself for as long as it happens in the song. But I'm just taking my F shapes like 
and he does sometimes. I'm plucking around on him on frets six, seven, eight, five, six, seven. Dadgad, which is actually the notes of a D suspended four chord. So grab your D chord, but put your pinky finger on the E string third fret, and you're gonna land there instead of the F shape on three, four, five. So. And we can even do Ed's really cool outro. Grab B3, G, D5, high to low in blueberries. Blueberry, 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 five blueberries, and then you're gonna switch to a regular old D chord. And then do your, for your touching outro. That's it for Campfire Present Tense. I really enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. Oh, one more thing. Here's a different way to do the ending where you incorporate that weird Ed run that he does there. If you grab your F shape on 6, 7, 8, and you can get your pinky finger on B8, and if you can reach it up to 10, and then we'll go down to uh, 5, 6, 7, and 3, 4, 5, so... Goodbye.